Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to DreamWorks Troll Hunters Defenders of Arcadia. A game released uh, a couple years ago for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and a few other platforms, and it's another game that is published by Outright Games, which is, you know, a company that basically publishes a lot of games based on movies, TV shows, cartoons, and so on and so forth for like Switch and other consoles, but anyway. Yeah, we're gonna go and get started, but really quick, I'm just gonna go into settings here. Let's see, I think it's all fine. Um, yeah, we'll keep that off, and everything else is perfectly fine. Let's just go ahead and do a, um, let's play a, a new game here. Uh, Human Normal Troll Hard. We're gonna play normal mode. We always, usually, always usually. Wow, great commentary. No, we usually play normal mode in all my playthroughs, all my Let's Plays, so yeah, this will be nice. This right here is the loading screen of the game. Um, usually I end up cutting loading screens in my playthroughs if they are a little too long. But I usually like to keep the first one or two just so you can kind of get an idea of how good or not so good the loading is in the game. Because I know that for some people that can make or break a game. So I think it'd be doing, you know, I, I wouldn't be covering the complete game if I just cut out every single loading screen including the first one. You know? Like some of you really want to legitimately see how long it is and this one is pretty long. Yeah, this game has overall average to bad loading for the most part, so that's unfortunate, but... Anyway, somewhere in New Jersey. Oh, man. Yo, Jimbo, you there? What's the haps in Jersey, fellow troll hunter? Pretty quiet. A few goblins. Getting in touch for any particular reason? Like, say, to congratulate me? Congratulate you on what? Oh, I don't know. My special day. Another trip around the sun. Not sure what you're talking about, but whatevs. No, I, I wanted to ask you if you've seen anything strange. More than the huge. What's strange, considering the whole Morgana Eternal Night fiasco last year? Oh, I don't know. Strange like Arcadia getting overrun by pirate trolls? I rate trolls, aren't they all? Ugh, wah! Jim, a little help here! Blair, what is it? Holding them off for now, but they're all over the place! They look like... Uh, like... Um, pirates? Yes! Pirate trolls! I'm on my way! Let me at him! Okay, so just like that... We get to go ahead and start the game. So, yeah, it's essentially a 2D platformer uh, sword combo. Carry the combination of sword strikes by attacking again after your first strike. Yeah, so there you go. You get to just attack like crazy. See? Pretty simple. Pretty simple. We'll just, um, you know, go ahead and collect these. Yeah, there is voice acting during the uh, gameplay, but I'll try. Sometimes I'll speak over it, sometimes I won't. It just kind of depends. But during cutscenes, I definitely will not speak over it. Grab these to restore a heart in your health meter. There's too many of them. Toby, I'm going to use my shadow staff to bring you here. Okay. Oh, that was my bad. I totally <laughs> I ran a little too far there. Yeah, they got to be a little careful with these things. Claire, Toby, are you okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's him. <laughs> Porgon! Porgon? I... Um... Have no idea who that is. Yeah, me neither, but I'm getting a powerful whiff of pirate troll deja vu here. Shiny! Jimbo? He's... gone. Whoa, my head. What happened? Hello? Is this blasted thing working? 
Merlin? Oh, good. Finally found you. Oh my gosh, Jimbo, where have you been? We've been trying to contact you for weeks. Weeks? But I just saw you a minute ago. Oh, for us it's been longer. A lot longer. Jim, listen. We need to warn you about Porgon. He's not like any other troll you've ever faced. His magic allows him to teleport anywhere, anytime. Time travel? That's not possible. Of course it is, if you have the right magic. However, I've never known a troll to have it. So, if Porgon can send me through time to Arcadia, then when am I? Uh, nearly a year ago. Yeah, last summer. Back before you were a troll. So if I'm in the past, then you're in the future? Like right now? How are we even talking? Oh, I've added a bit of my magic to all of your texting doodads. Way better coverage now. The roaming charges are pretty steep, though. <laughs> Shiny! What's going on? It's Porgon! I'm going after him. James, wait. I have to warn you. No time to talk. Let's do this. All right, time to play again here. All right, got some, got some cutscenes. We kind of got the premise, you know, the, the introductory part of the story. Why am I just running into these things? Seriously, I got to play more careful. Like, you got to be kidding me. Those were like the easiest enemies in the game. And what the hell? There we go. Dirty socks, smelly, delicious, and cherished by trolls and troll market. By trading these, and, uh, okay, cool. For sock exchange. Yeah, I'll talk more about that later. Have you ever done a sock exchange for like Christmas time? Just wondering. Or I should say holiday season. Merlin is assisting you from beyond his time loop. Be wary though, even Merlin's uh, magic has time limits. Yeah, you can basically there? stand on those platforms. Any sign of Porgon? Only his minions, so far. I still keep running too fast into enemies. I gotta I gotta be a little more you know careful with that. But yeah, so far here at the beginning should be pretty easy actually. Those, I guess I'll put this guy, sure. Okay, you do actually have to run over and get the pickups. Yeah, those guys are actually kind of difficult to dodge, honestly. Like, oh shoot. There we go, got that. That's a uh, two out of four, it says, okay. Oh shoot, he lived? What the hell? I did not think that was going to happen, seriously. That's a uh, three, I already got three socks. And that's four. Four out of four. Honestly, it's not, not too bad into collectibles, especially early on. Some of the enemies can be a little crazy, like randomly out of nowhere just attack you and... They'll be taking damage all over the place, you know? Yeah, those, I believe they always give you one whole uh, heart, like health. Alright, let's fall through. Stage clear, well that was super easy. Totals, we got all four socks, that's amazing. And we're gonna press OK on that. Alright, now we are going to be in a, another level here. Uh, so this one has 0 out of 4 and 0 out of 3 for different like collectible things, so we'll see. Uh, there's two areas, wait, no, that's, that's a pit, right? Yeah. I thought that was like an exploration thing, but no. Slide to go through narrow passages. How do you, um, oh, okay, it's down and B, that's right, okay. Down and B is correct. Got 
that one. Uh, tricky to catch. Use mischievous creatures or revive. Okay. Gnomes. Uh, something, something venerable be held. Uh, something, something trickster troll. What he said was. Trickster Wait, do I have to light? Oh, okay, just run into it. You got a gnome. Collect these to play Omarug's gnome challenge in Troll Pub. Using magic to bring disorder to both humans and trolls alike. <laughs> extra life. Snag these to add an extra life to your life counter. Very nice. Let's keep going. There's a collectible up there. That's a sock. Take this little thing all the way up. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simplistic, you know, pretty basic platforming. I mean, this game, from what I know, it's not deemed as too hard, at least if you're playing in normal mode. Um, so we should have not, you know, any, like, what the hell? There's a sliding thing up there, but I can't get through it like that. Not from the air. Oh, shoot. Wait on that. And then jump. Here's another one. Oh, there's a sock right there. Let's grab it. That's uh, two socks. If you see Porgon, just shout a vast. Okay. Horn Gazel. Find uh, whatever in each state to release the treasure hidden behind, ch behind chalk drawn. Okay. Sure. So yeah, lots of different collectibles, you know? What's over here? <laughs> Got you. Be a little tricky. Okay, we're gonna go down. Yeah, just be aware of pits, you know, pits obviously, like any freaking 2D platformer that can it can be a real problem. Oh we gotta get up here. Yeah, there, there's no there's no double jump in case you're wondering, there is no double jump. Okay, I think I need to go up. For the option actually I'm not sure hold on hold on a sec no I was wrong actually never mind just gotta be patient with these things I have to you know switch back and forth we're gonna slide through and there's another sock I will gladly take I've actually got the pause menu I don't think I have but here's the pause you can see inventory items, um, very, various different things, your quest log down there. Um, so yeah. Stage clear. And then we got, oh, I didn't mean to mash that, but it's fine. Time for the next level here. Let's start by going this way. We got one, so that's already um, what one out of three. Pretty good start, I would say. And then here's a uh, one sock already. I always get hit by those guys, man. They're so freaking difficult to dodge. All right, and then here, let's see. Oh, I guess I didn't need to get that, but whatever. There's another sock, that's already two. I guess I could fall that guy, but I just jumped over him. It's it's fine. Oh god, but they'll switch. There's a sock right here. Okay. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, I should be talking more probably, but like... I don't know, I can't even think of anything to say. It's all just straightforward, you know? But I'm just getting through it, so... Let's see here. There's this big guy right here. Oh, what the hell? I think he just... Okay. Now we'll go over to the left side. Let's check out left first. Yeah, I kind of figured. These little gnomes. there at the end of this one. There's still one gnome left. Hopefully we can hopefully we didn't miss it. Oh this thing. How are we supposed to like wait hold on. I think that's gonna be the way to go forward. Let me oh there it is. Yeah. So you grab that, that way you can actually, you know, access these things, and then you grab your, you know... There we go. We're missing... Oh, damn, I think we... Did we miss a gnome? Jim! Are you there? What happened? It was Porgon. Almost had him, but he disappeared into some kind of portal. It was a portal in time. That's what I was trying to warn you about. Porgon has caught you in a time loop. It's an alternative reality, a loop revolving around a specific event. I need you to stay in the past. I need to know what Porgon is up to. I fear there may be darker forces at work here. Are you kidding me? I thought he was just a trickster. I'm in no mood for kidding. Follow Porgon. Find out what he's looking for. How am I supposed to follow him if he can create time portals at will? There is an artifact I created centuries ago that should prove useful. I buried it below what is now Troll Market for Blinker Scaladrigal to find, which he did when he was a young troll over a thousand years ago. Go to Troll Market and talk to Blinkers. He'll know to give it to you. But Troll Market is gone. It was destroyed by Morgana during the Eternal Night. Not in the past, of course. Go there now, and you'll find it to be the exuberant hub of activity you remember it to be. Oh, right. Alright, so I made it back over here. Let me just start talking to all of these. Okay, so I think, um... Wait, what if we go... What does this one say? Okay. Troll market, yes. Can I, uh, can I go in there? Okay, I think you just press up. What's this? No one wants to talk to you. None of my friends recognize me. Am I going crazy? You're not crazy. You're in the past. You're in Troll Market before you slayed Gunmar and banished Morgana to the Shadow Realm. Before you became a half-troll. To everyone in this time loop, you look just like another troll. What should I do? You're going to need help from the other troll hunters here. From Lady Claire and the, uh, Metal Face one. You need to find a way to appear differently to them. Hmm. New quest. Wingman, new quest about face? Okay. Uh, what do you say? 
Okay, fine. Let's go in the troll pub. Right in here. Hmm, looking pretty empty. Well, there is view at least. Three gnomes. I have three gnomes. You know them what to do. Okay, launch a gnome with B. Hit every target. Miss a target, lose a gnome. So I have to just... Oh, I see. It's a little too... um. There we go. Damn it. It's pretty hard. Bullseye. Okay. Oh my god, this one's further. <laughs> That's hard. I'll try again? Sure, I'll try it again. Do I have to go through a loading screen every time? Alright, well here we go. Let's try this again. Now that we kind of know... It's a bullseye. We'll wait on that one. Uh, we'll do... Another bullseye, okay. That's one, that one's a little harder. We got it, okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Extra Nelm earned. We got him, and there we go. For completing it, you get a, you know, you get some, some money out of this. You win. Okay, so I have to come back when I have nine gnomes for another challenge. Well, there's nothing else to do here. Glamour mask? Okay, where are you going to change your appearance? Uh, sure. I guess. Well, it's 99,000 though. Oh well. 99,000? Well, let me talk to you again. You don't have enough coins? Okay. Hmm, I can't do anything in there either. Alright, here, drive a bargain. <laughs> okay. You got it. Come back soon. Goodbye. Quest complete about face. Oh, look at that. Ah, I remember this remember one. This one, the first human troll hunter. Human troll hunter. You were destined to become half troll, but it is useful for you to appear human here. How's it going? See you later. Hey there. All right, so now I have to see who exactly I need to talk to here. Come with me. Call Toby and with Warhammer to take out obstacles and enemies. Okay, all there are. Got it. Let's take a look at the quest again that we have to do here. So those are completed, but what about the top one? There's a troll market and talk to Blinka's Galadra about an ancient artifact. Wait, troll market? Isn't that the? Or, or who or not I, I meant not troll market uh the, the freaking character I mean um it's not you whoa that's pretty cool to have but not right now no I'm trying to find the right character is it you no I don't think actually who would it be would it be the library it's not any of these people What's your name? No. 
I believe it's going to be at the library then, maybe. More than likely it will. That's Schmidt. Nodvik. Okay, we're looking for an ancient artifact. Uh-huh. Huh. That's the one. Do you know what it is? I have to wonder who created it and what, what, what's its purpose. Okay. Can I borrow it? Okay. Got the time map. I see you've obtained my time map. Took you long enough. What does it do? It's designed to provide glimpses into the future. I crafted it long ago, so it may be a bit rusty and temperamental. Assuming it still works, how does this help us? By illuminating anomalies in time, specifically the time loops Porgon is creating. Can we use it to find Porgon now? Well, I should say so. Time is of the essence, Stroll Hunter. Alright, so I wasn't talking there. Um, I just, uh, there were a bunch of, like, cops outside, and, like, you could hear their freaking sirens, and I try to actually mute them. Hopefully, I can. Anyway, so the quest log says, uh, use a time app to find, uh, Porgon in the ge Geode Caverns. So we're gonna do this, use, and basically go to the place where it tells you. So we're gonna go to Geode Caverns. There's one, and then more, but we can only go to the first one, so we're gonna say yes on that, and there we go. took me to the geode caverns below Troll Market. Ooh, that's where we first met Merle! Why would Porgon be going there? I suspect he's going after the Staff of Avalon. His trickster magic combined with the magic of my staff could allow Porgon to control time itself. Control time? That's just a little scary. Why does he want to do that? The thing that's nibbling my noodle is that Porgon isn't nearly smart enough to know that, not by a mile. Do you think someone else is behind Porgon's plan? Maybe Gunmar? Uh, maybe. There's only one way to find out. You must find the Staff of Avalon before Porgon does. Don't let him get it. I'll do my best. Let me at him. <laughs> Toby's Warhammer can smash this block when his assist meter is full. Con okay, cool. Ready. Alright, so basically... Wait, how do I do this again? What's the button again? Oh my god, I can't remember this. Does it tell you controls in here? No, it doesn't. It's full, but wait, what? L and R aren't... Oh wait, now it worked? Why didn't it work before? I was pressing it, that's what I was concerned, I was like, wait, it's not actually working. Like, oh my god. Anyway, let's see here. So there's that area there, then there's... Okay, so this just leads to this, we'll grab that sock. Wait, see? What? Oh, you pressed them. I, I think you pressed them both at the same time? Maybe. Well, okay, we'll keep testing it out in a bit. I think that's what was happening, so. Alright. Great, he hit me. Uh, that actually is an optional thing up there, so we'll do that one. Are you kidding me? That's why you should be killing all the enemies, I guess, but. Wow. 
Alright, we got you. Seriously, you were... What are the chances of that? Him being right there. No way. I mean, I'm used to my luck being horrible in video games, so... Yeah, you have to press both at the same time. Both L and O, not just one. I thought it was one of the buttons for some reason. Alright, and there's that though right there, okay. I mean, again, all this early on stuff shouldn't be too crazy. Even though I'm, of course, failing big time because I'm taking a lot of damage where I really shouldn't be taking it. Okay, so that just led that way. Alright, we got that. There's a gnome up here, which we're gonna grab. That one was easy, okay. Let's run through here. Nice both, smash that, thank you. And then we can drop all the way down and stage clear, simple enough. Next level, um, okay, we got this guy, what the hell. I'm down to, uh, three quarters of a heart, you gotta be kidding me. God, it's cause everything is just, I, I mean, I, I guess I just gotta really focus on the sc screen the whole time, because, like, that one right there, oh my god, I guess my reaction is just not great, you know? It's only average. Okay, let's do that, and go through. Hmm, I think I need to go up for the optional thing. And that's why I packed an extra pair of undies. Toby. Sorry. There we go. Okay, here's some health at least. That's good. Alright, oh there's more health, okay now we're in a much better position finally with health, back up to the max. Okay, I think we're about halfway done through this particular level. There's another one, I saw some stuff down there, I think that's maybe where I want to go first. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, here's another one of these. Okay. Where the hell did that guy come from? Seriously. Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, let's check out this side first. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's an enemy? That's, you can barely see that. Jesus. Okay. I think I can just... Oh, I should probably do the jump here. What? I think he glitched through or something. Hold on, I'm curious about that. Yeah, something weird happened. I'm not really sure what the hell happened, but... That was a little strange. Funny enough, the little guys are actually some of the harder enemies because they camouflage so well. And they're like, and they always pop them up out of nowhere. Like, look at that as you're like just going through like that. And I know it sounds a little ridiculous, but I think they're, in my opinion, harder enemies to deal with than, other than the bigger guys. Like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me, man. Okay, we got that. I managed to see that one at least. Look okay, at these two. Here's the last sock. I think we're just about done. Stage clear, there we go. Another level complete. Your attempt to capture the staff of Avalon is pathetic. Enough of your games. I will not be mocked by a mere trickster troll. Porgon! Staff! Now! Angerot, look out! Ah, look who has wandered into my web. The human troll hunter. I'm not your enemy. Not this time. Ah, Porgon! How am I to believe you've come to my aid? More likely you are here to challenge me. Or is it the staff you're after? Neither. I'm here to protect the timeline from Porgon. The trickster troll? <laughs> he's of no consequence. The staff of Avalon belongs to Gunmar, and he shall have it. Oh, great. How many times do I have to defeat this guy? Alright, so here we got a boss. Let's uh, try to dish out some damage to him. It okay, might be a bit of a challenge, oh god. Yeah, you gotta be aware of these stupid platforms everywhere. You just gotta be an easier way to deal with this guy, seriously. I mean, I've gotten hit, what, three times? Okay. Oh, did I just get like a crit there or something? That was a little weird. What the freaking hell? That was definitely a different type of attack that I had not seen before. Do you ever wonder how you relive this? This is a bit of an obnoxious battle because I can't even. Like, I need you to come down here so I can actually dish out some. Damn, he's about to die, dude. And it's mostly the freaking back and forth of the... Oh god. He's about to do it again, isn't he? That is an unavoidable attack, dude. 
We cannot be serious. Okay, now one thing that I did want to mention. Really? One thing that I did want to mention is that the game actually is forgiving in that you'll eventually be able to defeat boss battles because it keeps the health like that, but you get a full health. You just lose your life though, so you have to be careful about that and find ways to constantly gain, you know, lives and stuff like that. Oh, and now this phase is much easier. He's under the freaking ground. It's the air battle that was ridiculous because I was dishing out damage way too slowly. Clever hunter, I underestimated you. A lot has happened since we last met, but now I need your help. You need my help. Yes, to stop Porgon. I have not, since my release from Isathun, found any troll or human so annoying. I couldn't agree more. Very well, Troll Hunter. I will assist you. Let's go. Call Angerot to summon a golem you can use to get okay, otherwise unreachable areas. Quest complete. The Staff of Avalon is completed. You got the Birth Stone of Gunmar, unleash the power of the Daylight Armor, pressing X. You got a heart container, your health has increased, nice. Ooh, Jimbo, that's shady sauce. I can't believe you got Angerot to help you. Yeah, you sure you know what you're doing? I hope so. I need all the help I can get. Well, you've succeeded in preventing Porgon from getting the Staff of Avalon. Now it looks as though he's after something else. Ugh, now what? I'm not sure, but according to the time map, he's on his way to Troll Market right now. Oh no. Maybe you heard about the clearance sale on Pirate Booty at Bagdwellas. You can head him off at the Canal Bridge if you hurry. On my way. Alright, so I'm back over here, and it says use the time I can travel to Canal Bridge in Arcadia, find Porgon before he gets to Troll Market. Okay, travel to Canal Bridge. Um, let's see what I can do here then. There it is. We'll just go straight to it, mainly because I don't think I even have an... Actually, I may. No, no, I need 25 socks, I think, to get a reward, so I'm not even there. Alright, so we are here in a new... Oh, what? Higher Zingarata. Okay, cool. So yeah, so just do that. And you get to actually reach higher heights with that. There's a sock. So yes, now we have four hearts instead of three. We got a heart container, so that will make surviving a tiny bit easier, I guess you can argue. I say you can argue because oftentimes in games like, yes, you get more health. But at the same time, you start facing more difficult enemies, which it kind of in the end balances out, you know? So, I don't know. Okay, so it says... Oh, when he's... Hold on, I think I may have to, um... How do you... Wait, it said when he's... Hold on a sec. Didn't it say when he's not? Oh, that, that's what you mean. Shit. There we go. Alright, so we'll go down here. Run through. Okay, wait, how do you switch? Why is it not letting me switch? What's is there a button for that? No, but that's not what I wanted.
What the hell? Why is it not letting me switch? How did I do it last time then? Wait, wait. So you have to hold one, like I'm holding the R, and I'm pressing ZL to switch. But the problem with that is that it's always going to activate the ability. Isn't that so stupid? Why did you make the control scheme like that? What? The, that makes no sense. Seriously. Because you'll always end up wasting your ability every time you want to switch. That's a little ridiculous. Like here, I want to switch. But that didn't even work that time. I am telling you to- oh my freaking- this is actually really annoying. I cannot believe that that's designed that badly. That is insane. And then, I can't even explain it to you because then when you switch it, it then switches it back. I, yeah, I don't even know how to explain that to all of you. Some of you are like, what are you talking about? I, I do not know how to explain it. It is so horrible. Like, it's so bad. It is so bad. Oh my god. It's going to be a pain in the ass to be switching back and forth every single time. I can already tell you that. Like, I mean like a huge pain. Jesus Christ. I... I mean, I, f whatever, at least we don't have to use Toby right now. It's going to be so frustrating when we get to the part where we do. Like, right here. Okay. Like, I'm just trying to switch, dude. I. Oh my god, man. It's, it's rough. It's a rough one. I don't understand why it's that horrible. Like... Whatever, no more use of complaining. Just know every time I, I'm probably gonna struggle with that, switching back and forth, because it's not my fault. It's 100% of the game's fault on that. I still get this strange feeling of deja vu when I see Porkon. I'm pretty sure we've run into him before. Something to do with the school science fair I, at the planetarium. Bro, last you gotta year. be kidding me, dude. Yes, right, Claire, you're a genius. Which obviously explains why you were at the science fair. Obviously. What's down here? Oh, this thingy? Okay, do that. We have to do this again? Okay, fine. Get on that. Jump right up here. Then there's that one there, which, okay, we got the sock. Okay, push that down. And we got a stage clear. We did miss one now. I mean, it's fine. We're just... The socks would be more important to us anyways. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's see what we find in this one. Alright, so we'll kill that guy there. Not yet. He's here somewhere, though. How can you tell? I can hear his swabby minions up ahead. Either that or he's got the goblins talking like pirates. I'm gonna go the other way first because I believe oh yeah, see, I knew there was something there. Hmm. Kinda of figure there would be. Huh. And then here. Awesome. Yeah, we'll just Surprise. do that. Yeah, no, you always have to waste it. You always have to waste your primary one if you want to switch to the other one. There's no way to not do that. <laughs> Alright, we'll follow him behind. Oh shoot, I died. 
Wait, where am I? Where the hell am I? What is this place? What the... Where... The game just spawned me in a place that I had not even been to yet. Or wait, did I? Wait, did I die there? Okay, wait, so... No, no, I mean, it did. It did spawn me in a place I was... I, I, I guess I would have missed that, but... Still, it spawned me in a place that I had not even been to. Like, y'all saw that, right? Like, y'all have to have seen that just now. Like, that's ridiculous. I mean, I'll take it, because it gave me a free pickup that I probably would have missed, but... That's still a little weird, a little ridiculous, if you ask me. Okay, we'll hit that. Oh, here, you're back again. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I'll just leave that guy there. Who cares about those? Okay, then here, just to the left. place to go over there if I really wanted to which yep so again you gotta waste it and then switch two and then go like that and wow I'm definitely gonna make fun of the game every time I get through that because that's that, I just can't believe how that was not tested it's so horrible but wow like I understand complicated things in the games you know but that's just a very basic kill this guy dude it's a very basic, you know, just switching back and forth from abilities. It shouldn't have been an oversight at all. Like, at all. But somehow it was. Okay, here there are two ways again. Oh, that's to go forward now. Huh? Troll Hunter? There you are, Porgon. Forget about going to Troll Market. This is the end of the line for you. <laughs> all right. If that's the way you want it, let's do this. Okay, so I'm probably gonna die here. I don't have enough health to be able to take through this many hits. Oh, okay, I see the I see the move for that one now. I mean, if that's the pattern. Yeah, that kind of is the pattern. Is that really going to be the entire pattern? Because if that's the case, then it's actually an easy one. I think so, actually. Alright, well... Yeah, no, that's... This is a much easier boss battle than the other one. You're here! Where are we? We're in the Darklands, unfortunately. It took me quite some time to find you after that last encounter with Porgon. 
Did I stop him from getting to Troll Market? Yes, but only temporarily. James, brace yourself. Troll Market is gone. All is lost. This is bad. Well, that's certainly understated. What's got me worried is that this is around the time Gunmar brought Morgana back from the Shadow Realm. It's entirely possible Morgana is mixed up in all this as well. What about Claire and Toby? They've been captured by Gunmar. I don't know where he took them. So why did I end up here in the Darklands? Did Porgon create this time loop because he was looking for Gunmar? Now you're getting it. Quite likely. So how do we escape? If you can defeat Gunmar here, then it should close this time loop, thus preventing Porgon from finding Gunmar in the first place. I'll go on ahead. I'm sure I remember the way to Gunmar's throne room. Let me at him! <laughs>